My name is Paul Sheffield. This is my good friend, comedian Wes Austin, and this is Best Thing on the Menu, r and Barbecue. Wes, man, thanks for coming on. Thanks for having me. Hey, this is gonna be to fun. It. We talked about this, what, like six months ago? Yeah. Originally? It was in the green room. I think you brought it up and I was like, I love barbecue. And you you specifically were like, listen, I love a good R&R. &R. If you do this show, I'd love to do R&R. &R. And I was like, let's make yeah. it happen. Man of my work, my... delayed, but man of my work. R&R <laughs> &R is one of my standard Probably every couple of weeks I hit an R&R. &R. Oh, me too? Yeah. So I have gone on record. Most of the places that I've done so far have been nostalgia places. Places I don't go to anymore, but I used to go to in college and loved. This episode is, I eat this all the time. Okay. Every other week. There's one R&R &R barbecue right across from my office. So I eat R&R &R regularly. Nice. And we did Famous Dave's. Very disappointed. I think r and is going to blow it out of the water. Blow it out of the water. Well, I started going to R&R &R back when it was just being run by the two brothers who started the whole thing. Where's the original? Well, there was one in downtown Salt Lake, yeah. like Sixth South. The downtown one, I believe, is the original. Yeah, that was the one. That, that's where it all started. When you would hit that one for lunch, you might be able to get a seat. You might have to be standing up waiting to get one of the little funky bar things on the end, but it was always packed. And it still is. So it's good. always busy. Okay, I've never been to this R&R &R barbecue. And I've I know never been to this I, one either. You've probably never even been out here. Harriman, Riverton, this, this, is, this isn't your area. No, yeah. Notice, <laughs> notice the lush scenery that I, I've surrounded myself in. It's this, <laughs> this, is where, this is what you do. I know you're probably just sitting here like, Paul, where are we? Are we going to Idaho for this? No. Civilization will return, I assure you. Don't, don't, don't panic. There's Harriman, and then there's West Jordan, where I am, and then there's this between. And they're going to fill it in. They'll get there. They haven't, but they will. So what does your family eat, though? Oh, man. Do they go to R&R? &R? Two of my daughters like R&R, &R, so they will go there. Okay. My wife does not like it. Oh. Because she doesn't like any of their vegetables. Is so she a vegetarian? Just, no, but she says they just don't have good enough vegetables for me, so we can't go there. So... I can I, never go there with my wife. Is there she, a vegetable on the menu? Oh, yeah, that's right. They have some salad. That's, it's, yeah, that's <laughs> about, but yeah, that's not good enough for her. No, so. that's not going to do it. So she's not a meat person. Not really. And there it is, R&R &R barbecue. Oh, yeah. Okay. Nice white brick on the corner. We need to get sauces. We never okay. get enough sauce. Even when you order the whole menu and spend $300, they're like, it's going to be a little extra for sauce. And let's just make sure we get enough sauces so that way we can uh, okay. enjoy the meal. Because I'm a sauce guy. I don't know about you. I mean, I have it at the oh, ready. Are you a dry guy? But I try to do it dry when I can. Oh, fun. Just, Ooh, so just, we're different. Yeah. You're the first I, dry guy I've had on the show. But if I'm having a rough day, I'll start to dip it in the sauce. <laughs> but I try to do it dry to just keep <laughs> so the calories down. I just... <laughs> Oh, see, this is not You're good. on the sauce when you've had a bad day. Oh, I know, man. That's, that's Give me that honey idea. mustard. Oh, I've had a bad one. Normally, I don't take the ranch, but after today, pff, sauce yeah, me. Yeah, that's, that's what, I, what I do when I get crazy. You bring a literal definition to being on the sauce. Oh, like geez, that's, yeah. <laughs> your wife, oh, man. <laughs> it's got the blue cheese out, ladies. Run. One of the owners has a box, is a box. So that's probably ours. Okay. A box of food. Wes, you excited? Yeah, I'm we, hungry. You should be. We got a ton of food. <laughs> We've got everything on the menu. We're about to have some fun. This one's a special one for me. I'm just gonna say, season one has been all about nostalgia, restaurants that really kind of hit me right in the feels. And this one, second to none. I, I kind of saved it for later in the season on purpose. Cause I wanted the show to be better. You know, I didn't want to like, take too many risks with a restaurant <laughs> like this. This is R&R &R Barbecue. This is a restaurant I go to regularly. We've had a lot of uh, talk throughout the episodes of like, I don't eat here anymore, I don't eat this anymore, I don't eat this anymore. This is a place I eat at a lot. And this was the restaurant that I took my future wife to on our first date. So nothing gets more nostalgic than that. Every February 9th, my wife and I were gonna be at R&R &R Barbecue. This is a big one for me. I'm really excited about this one. And now I get to share it with a patent lawyer. Hey, it's, we're the best at our Oh my gosh. What did your wife order on your first date? Because <laughs> we don't remember. You, oh. 
<laughs> we don't remember. I was going to say, since you guys got married, that first order is going to be etched. I know. In your memory. We, but see, that's the sign of a great first date. <laughs> we don't remember the food. Oh, that's, that's we true. don't remember the food. We were t so caught up in the conversation. It was a great meal. We have a meal that we get now, but every time we go to R&R, &R, we think, what did we get? can't remember. I think the roasted chicken was involved on like a plate combo. That's about it. But we do have our go-tos now. I only get three things at R&R. &R. That's another reason I'm super excited about this one because I don't branch out. I have my favorites. I know what I get and I don't do anything else, but I'm excited to see if I've been missing out on anything. Yeah. And I go about every two or three weeks and I only order, well, I order the same thing usually, but I have branched out to two other items. So you and I are both about three items. What, what's your what's your go to order? Boneless chicken with a side salad. Okay, so no hush puppies, no dinner roll, <laughs> no cheese, no croutons. Super adventurous. Balsamic vinaigrette on the salad. <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna try a lot more than that. Yeah, yeah. Today. <laughs> Uh, I'll say my go-to. My go-to are the nachos, the loaded baked potato, and the wings. Let's see if we're missing out on anything. Let's start with some of their signature items. I think we should start off with something we've never had before. I, yeah, let's do it. Okay, this one intrigued me a lot. We're going to start off with the loaded mac and cheese. Loaded mac and cheese. Did not even know this was on the menu. Got me super excited. So it's their side order of mac and cheese oh with... Man, that looks so good. Your choice of meat, <laughs> and they crumble a hush puppy on top of it. That looks good. Oh, if my wife is watching, this is gluten free, no carb. I'm lying. It's not, I'm sure, but it's, <laughs> it looks so good. I just realized we don't have forks. So uh, let me grab some utensils okay. for us. Hold that thought. I, I was ready to do hands. I just thought this was going to be a unique part of the show. My wife wouldn't allow that. Now this I got with no sauce this mac and cheese, and I did do the chopped brisket. I've actually never had chopped brisket before. I have had their chopped brisket. I've always done sliced brisket, so this is kind of a new thing for me. I think we should sauce though, don't you? I mean, I'm okay with some sauce. Now you're a dry guy. I usually go dry, but that's because I'm trying to do... Gotta be a better way to say that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to do lower calories. I'll dip. I will dip it into the sauce, but you know what? This is my cheat day. Let's go. It's, it's cheat day all the way. Sorry that I said that. <laughs> well, <laughs> some things can't be unsaid. So <laughs> we're starting off well. I like that. I do want to do sauce on this. I'll let you sauce normally at your leisure, but for this one, I'm just going to do a little bit of the sauce. Grab yours because we got a ration. They only gave us one original sauce each. What are we supposed to do with that? The trick is you got to get everything in the bites. We had to get the mac, get the brisket, and make sure you get a little hush puppy in there as well. Oh my word. I can't yeah. get all of that in one. Yeah, you can do it. I believe in you. Where's go after it. You said oh you wanted to go gosh. hands. Okay. Do hands. You ready? Mmm. Mmm. Mm. That hush puppy does a lot for it. I would never get this, but I wish that I would have. That's a good item. Mm -hmm. This tastes like dessert to me. What? I mean, it tastes incredible. It is so good, but From it's so rich. <sighs> it's amazing. It tastes like I'm having cheesecake or something really rich. Okay. Yeah. I, I, mean, I, I don't, love get, it, it, I don't but... get any sweetness out of it at all. Mm. It's very savory to me. Mm -hmm. The Hush Puppy, I guess, has a little bit of a, of a sweet vibe to it. I think it's a little dry. I wish the mac and cheese was a little creamier. Mm -hmm. That's my only complaint. The flavors are on point. A nice blend of meat. The Hush Puppy does so much for it. Wow. The combination of the mac and cheese, the beef barbecue sauce and the beef. Oh my gosh. That kind of wow. marinated together was so good. It really was. I was that was a great first bite. Yeah. I'm, I'm getting even more excited and I already it's, was uh, ready for this. Now when I said it tasted like dessert, I just mean it tasted so good and rich that it seems like that. You compared it to cheesecake. Dessert. So yeah. like a bite of this is probably as calories go, maybe like a bite of cheesecake. Wouldn't, okay, wouldn't, to be honest, isn't it pretty similar? Sorry, I, I, I mean, have to watch not that. all calories are the same. There's a lot of protein in this, okay? So this well, is still a meal. I yeah. get what you're saying. You don't eat any carbs, so any carbs is a dessert for you. I'm I gonna, get it. Your palate is be, all over the place. I'm gonna be unhinged after yeah, you are. the carbs. Yeah, you are. <laughs> I'm doing, I'm gonna break a man today. Now, one thing with r, &R Barbecue, you can get every meat with everything. So you can get this mac and cheese with brisket, pork, chicken, sausage, anything you want. We may come back and try a different meat. I wanted to do brisket because for me, beef, cheese, mac and cheese, it just worked. So we went with the brisket. I wouldn't change anything about it, but 
you can get anything you want. I wouldn't change anything either. Keep I mean, that in okay. mind. That was a good chopped brisket. Mm -hmm. I was pleasantly surprised. All right, now let's go to the tacos. Grab that one too. I Listen, I treat my guests right on this show. I didn't even just do one order. I got an order of brisket and an order of pork. And the reason I did is because they do have my favorite cheese in the world, feta. So okay. I can't believe I've never had this before. I didn't even know it existed, but they have feta cheese, coleslaw, barbecue tacos. I don't even know where to All begin. Right. Guests of the show, we just did brisket. Do you want to start pork or do you want to keep it on the brisket? Let's go with pork. Pork. Okay. Yeah. Let's switch over to pork for a second. We'll put this here. And it comes with a uh, chili verde or a okay. tomatillo sauce, if you will. Are you going to tomatillo? How spicy uh, are you, Wes? I can take mild. I oh, can't take so you're anything. not a spicy guy. No. No. If it gets too spicy, I just start to run and it gets okay. ugly. Would you use tomatillo sauce or would you go dry? Go dry. I want I you would, to use your preference. I, I would go dry. Okay. Then yeah. don't. <laughs> I like to go dry. Are you good? You know, <laughs> How spicy is the... The sauce. Well, when you say mild immediately, that worries me. So yeah. I don't want you to feel uncomfortable. I don't want you to get wetter feel, than you want it to be. I don't want to feel like a wuss. Well, I, don't want people I to think that of... ship sailed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to go dry. Okay, go I'm dry. Go do, dry. Do, do your preference pork tacos. Hmm. Hmm. It's not my favorite thing. I like the mac and cheese way more. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of meat, so you're not getting skimped. I just, I don't think it works with the corn tortilla. There's something about authentic Mexican food that's the only thing that can pull off a corn tortilla. This needs to be in a flour tortilla for me. But also like, it felt like there was a ginormous piece of meat with the tortilla. Yeah. And that was- All it. you got. This is not, I'm not loving this one. Step down for yeah. me as well. I agree. All right, pork was underwhelming. Let's see if brisket changes for me at all. Again, this is gonna be the chopped brisket. There's something about the corn tortilla that I just... Now, did you request corn tortillas? They only offer it. That's what okay. it is on the menu, and that's what I did. Okay. I, I assume you're going to go dry again? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> change is bad. I like that. <laughs> no. Wow. Okay. Some change is bad. <laughs> All right. Brisket taco time. Here you go. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Nope. This isn't it. Mm -mm. You know I have to be disappointed because it has feta on it and I don't care for it. And you wanna know why? I can't taste the feta. You couldn't convince me feta cheese was on that taco. <laughs> Gun to my head, if you were like, death, if you can't name the four ingredients of this taco, I would be dead. Mm -hmm. Can you taste any feta cheese? No, I can taste the beef, mm -hmm. the corn tortilla, and a little bit of the coleslaw. Maybe a, a bite of coleslaw. There's not mm -hmm. enough coleslaw, there's not enough cheese. I couldn't taste anything other than beef and corn tortilla. Yeah, I mean, again, like kudos, to have as much beef as, as yes. they have, but it just tastes like a big ball of beef with some corn tortilla. Just around. dry beef too. I mean, golly, yeah. who would ever want to eat, <laughs> eat it without any sauce? And it's real dry. <laughs> so. And this is coming from him. Yeah. <laughs> you can't make this stuff up. Wes Austin, everybody. Next up, we're going to do a staple for Paul Sheffield, and that is gonna be the loaded baked potato. Very, very underrated, in my opinion. They salt the outside of the potato, quarter pound of pulled pork on top, sour cream, butter, chives. I'm not gonna sauce on this one. I'm gonna go dry with you because there's butter and sour cream underneath. You gotta dig okay. down. Have you ever had this? Never. For a non-carb guy, you should, this is This is it. Yeah, I've Baked never. Baked potato and meat, come on. Yeah, Let's do it this. it's good sized. It's, I mean, it's oh, yeah. Big. It doesn't mess around. I'm hogging this thing from you. You okay. got anything. I lied, I'm gonna put some sauce on it. Uh, you cheated. Yep, I'm a sauce guy. You're a dry guy. How many times are we gonna say that? Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Immediately better than the taco. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's just comfort barbecue. And that was, I think, our first real taste of their meat. Really impressed. Nice smoke ring on the pork. I'm gonna pull this out. I don't think you can really see it. Pink in the, on the top, white meat on the bottom. It's got a bark. It's got everything. Mm. That's a solid baked potato. Yeah, it tasted incredible. Yeah, that was dessert that, for you. It, okay, <laughs> oh my gosh. I know it's not like a brown. It's not, this is, I will say- A brownie? This. Was that what you are gonna yeah, say? I, I see, I saw it myself, because I don't want comments. <laughs> I know it's not like a brownie. Like, the fact that? that brownies in your mind is a bad look. <laughs> It's cool. Don't say brownie. They might think I'm thinking I, about brownies, which I am. I have carbs and I just think of brownies, but you are a deprived this, man. I am. I don't get out much, but this is really good. And that one is still even better. I would say. Max, your favorite so still, far. Yeah. Okay. But this is in you know, like a close second. Right there. Now, do you Fire. eat the skins? I do. Okay. So I when, do. when I have potatoes, I eat the skins. Cut the knife. You gotta, you gotta get the skin. Yeah. Part of the skin on the potato. They salt it, sea salt. It's great. 
Mm. It's good. You should do that. Now, we're gonna have a little bit of fun. We're now going to one of, if not my favorite item on the menu. I'm a little biased, and that is gonna be the nachos. In-house tortillas, in-house white queso, and you can get whatever meat you want. I normally go for the pulled pork, but I might just throw in some chopped brisket for the first time mm. ever and get a little crazy. And this is what I'm gonna say. I don't know what was going on with this one. This is just going to say no, Paul. Come on. It is that, that thing is like spring loaded. What is, what, why is that? Look at what am I doing here? Stop! Oh my gosh. I'm going to get a blue cheese. Blue cheese. All right, we're fine. What the heck? What happened? That was weird. That was spring loaded. You roll with the punches. <laughs> Best thing r, r did, they did not cheese the nachos for the to-go order. We have a side order of all the queso we could ever dream of that we can dip at our leisure. And I've never been so impressed on the history of this show with that one gesture. <laughs> because this, if you're gonna do, I hate DoorDash, I've gone on record. But if you're gonna DoorDash this, r, &R does it right. This was not requested, this is what they do. Very, so, very impressed. So have you ordered nachos from other restaurants oh, and they douse things. Yes, and by the time they get to you, it's a soggy mess. Oh, look at that. Yeah, you might just lose your mind on this. That is. They got a little drizzle of sour cream, chopped tomatoes. I'm just gonna make sure I get a little of that. Are you gonna go pulled pork or chopped brisket on your nacho? West I'm gonna Austin? do the chopped brisket. I am too. I, I'm that's... going crazy. Be my guest, sir. Okay. The cheese is getting a little cool, but it's still, oh no, it's good, Never mind. Oh, well, that queso blanco. Get ready, sir. You're in for it. I'll do a little chopped brisket. Okay. You've never had their nachos? Never. Oh, this is gonna First be First time this I've ever had one of their nachos. I'm just gonna watch. Okay, here we go. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you did. Mm, mm hmm He didn't love it. Mm. Don't mm. lie to me. Mm. Mm. Mm hmm That cheese stuff, holy crap, that's good. Are you a cheese guy? I'm no, really... no, there's carbs in that. Right? I can't. I have cottage cheese with my- Oh cheese. my gosh, Wes! <laughs> Did my Come on this program. I put it in my protein shake. Do what? I asked if you're like, if you're a cheese Cot guy and you drop <laughs> cottage cheese on me? Are we in the same room? It's got cheese in the name. It's got, it's cheese. Yes, and you're right, it is a cheese. You've got me there. <laughs> Mm. Okay, but that was really good. It's fantastic. I'm going in for a second bite. Second biting is allowed for things you really love. And he's gonna go with the And I'm the gonna pork. go with the pork. How I normally take it, a little drizzle of barbecue sauce, goes with that queso blanco in a way you wouldn't even understand. Okay. This is no. not protein shake approved. So I wouldn't understand it, but it looks really good. Mm. Okay, you said you get nachos all the time. Right? All the time. So when you get it, do you have them put the meat on it? Yes, you I just did pork? the straight nachos because we have so many meats. Why am I gonna right. pay extra? I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Like, Sometimes okay. I do extra pulled pork if, you know, I've worked out that day. Instead of a cottage cheese protein shake, I go to R&R &R for some pulled pork. <laughs> I'm getting scared of what the next dumb thing I'm going to say. It's I'm getting excited. <laughs> <laughs> you might be the best person to have on this show. Wes okay. tries real food for the first time. That's going to be the spinoff. We're going to have like best thing on the menu and then first times with Wes. No, usually everything I have is blended. So it's just oh my liquid. Stop. <laughs> we're just talking about dumb things you're saying and just uh, next words. I, I, just I know, everything I you eat is blended well, and you're a dry it, guy. It goes down What is easier. a day in your life? It goes down easier and then oh my the gosh. bathroom breaks are so much. Stop. He's already peed twice, by the way. We've had to like break. When you apply for Medicare, you start eating real food. Like okay. you've got you've got time, Wes. I'm, you don't have time. You're out of time. Like enjoy what you have left. <sighs> I'm gonna hold it. Oh, do we need to no, take a I break? No, I don't need to go. I was just joking, I don't need to go. We can break again. No, I not yet, I'm, I'm good. You know, where, you know where it is. At least 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> can men buy something so that they can just go to the bathroom when they're sitting there? You Stop, can, right? Wes. No, this is just a technical question. I know it is. But you can, right? Like, like a fisherman. Like a fisherman. If you're out yeah, yeah, yeah. fishing in the river, I do things like that. I yeah, go out sure. and fish. Or do a YouTube for an hour. <laughs> yeah. Now we're gonna move on to more like basic R and R items, and this is gonna be sandwiches and burgers. There are six. You've never had a sandwich in your life. I've never. Okay, I've never had a sandwich in R and R, and the last time I had a real sandwich was 2012. Stop it. That's not <laughs> true. No, no. Okay, probably six, eight months ago I had a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have them very. Who much. is this guy? How did he? I don't. Why did he say like, "Hey, Paul, I'd love to come wait, on this wait. show"? When you say sandwich, let us. And a burger, is that a sandwich? Yes, okay. I, no. How do I have to explain a sandwich to you? 
A sandwich. <laughs> I love how he's a sandwich and then you don't have a burger. You immediately, come on. Oh, that looks pretty good. I didn't have you in mind when I ordered this sandwich, but if any sandwich can do it, it's this one because this is by R and R's claim, the change your life chicken sandwich. That's the real name. That's the name of this sandwich. I've never had it. It looks right. like it's right up my alley. Fried chicken thigh with buffalo spread, blue cheese crumbles, and coleslaw. Okay, I'm gonna say right now, I'm not a huge blue cheese fan, so it oh, might. So I might already really start this. off. I'm just still try it, but I'm just saying I'm a little. The blue cheese. Okay, that's okay, fair. I, just... I mean, if your favorite cheese is cottage cheese, I, I can imagine blue isn't on the list. Listen, I'm gonna take it up a notch. I'm gonna let you live your life, but I already can see early on in this show, I'm gonna have to sauce and let you be a dry person. <laughs> <laughs> so this needs a little bit more sauce. I'm gonna throw on some of the buffalo sauce that they gave us for the wings on my chicken sandy. Cause I really wanna get this buffalo to come through. Obviously I'm not even gonna suggest you have it cause I know you won't. Well it's hot, right? Is it like yeah. fire? Okay, yeah. yeah, I'd start to cry. <laughs> You know. <laughs> Thanks for coming on. <laughs> mm. It didn't change my life. The fried thigh is good. I like a breast more. I'm a breast guy. I don't know about mm. you. The blue cheese is good. That is a solid buffalo sauce. I will give it to you. Probably the best buffalo sauce we've had on the show yet. And that's not a competitive category. Can't imagine that's high on your list. I'm not loving it. I will say that it's probably still slightly better than the tacos. Wow. And I do not like blue cheese, and I'm still am ranking it higher than the tacos. It wasn't my favorite, but I could definitely. Fair enough. But it didn't change your life. No. It didn't change mine either. I've had a better chicken sandwich on this show, but it's good. And I'm excited to see what else we have next. Mm -hmm. Next up, let's see what we got here. This is the, the pineapple oh, coleslaw. Man pork sandwich. That is a mountain of pork though. I'm gonna tell you this right here. They have not messed around with your meat portions at all. I have been very impressed. We gotta like even it out a little bit. This is- That's like a good solid two inches of pork. Yeah. Isn't it? For someone who wants to work out after this, you're in the right place. Yeah. I will say as generous as that they've been with the meat, they haven't been very generous with the coleslaw. And you're not gonna sauce, I am gonna sauce. Well, maybe they did give us enough sauce because Wes was here and they're like, he's not gonna sauce. What's, okay, what kind of sauce? I'm a, I'm a originaling the whole way. I'm gonna original this one. I don't wanna be dry all the way through. No one should. I'm gonna moisten this sandwich up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's pretty good. It's pretty good. Better than the last sandwich. Yes. Mm -hmm. I knew that was going to be your, your take mm -hmm. right away. I love the pineapple, the sweetness. It feels like dessert, honestly. <laughs> we have the coleslaw. On these barbecue place sandwiches, when they just have the meat and the bun, that's not enough for me. That doesn't get me excited. You got to have something else to make it a sandwich. So having the coleslaw, having the pineapple, it makes it a complete sandwich. And you get a side dish with the sandwich. You don't have to order coleslaw, you're already getting it. So then you order a different side, it's like you got two sides. You, you gotta think ahead. This was, I mean, it was, it was pretty good. It's not, it doesn't have any dryness in it like the last one where I Or it, like that you want. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I did put a little bit of original barbecue sauce. Yes, you did. I did, and that, I think that did help. Can and the pineapple is a nice little surprise in a there, little, you know? A little kiss at the end. I don't know what that was. It just did. I don't. It either. happened. It happened, and we can't deny what happened. <laughs> <laughs> I want to. Though. I want and I know to. you can edit it out if it. I won't. But First tomorrow, sandwich in twelve years. This is a cheat week. You're you're off the wagon. Your wife's never gonna forgive you. I mean, she is gonna smell it when I come, yeah. when I come home. She doesn't smell alcohol. She's just like, did you have carbs today? <laughs> did you have carbs today? <laughs> now this one feels like it's right up Wes's alley. This is the chopped chicken, no sauce oh, sandwich. I'm already loving this. Just for you. I gotta ask, tomatoes, pickles, onions, and what do you take off? I, oh usually, my gosh, take, I usually take off the tomatoes. <sighs> I will usually have a little bit of onion, but not too much. So you're, you're really gonna make me work for this episode, aren't you? Wait, do you, do you, you leave of them Of course on? I like no, tomatoes, no. I'm not Okay, six. no, leave them, leave them on. No, then. no, you're that, the guest. No, I don't want you I would to be rather the... be the martyr than not make you happy. It, Okay. It's too late. <laughs> so this, they say it's a pulled chicken sandwich. It is 100% chopped. It is definitely not pulled. It's going to be a bit of a, a mess here because it's going to crumble all over the place. Now, is there any condiment liquidy or is it straight? Nothing. Dry? It's dry. I dried it for you. Is this how they normally... No, you can it? get sauce like a normal oh, okay. <laughs> For sure. Absolutely. You don't have to worry about that. Okay. They, for all the people that like sauce, I'm going to do a sweet sauce for the first time. Maybe I'll do a spicy. Wait. How spicy is their spicy barbecue sauce? I don't think it's very spicy, but who knows with you. I'll try it. I'm, I'm gonna go sweet. I'm gonna put a tomato on this too, cause you know, I'm health conscious. I'm gonna make sure I have a pickle, some onion, some of that sweet sauce. Cheers. 
Hmm. Hmm. Honestly, I like this chicken sandwich more than the other one. Hmm. Hmm. Look, I got a ginormous piece of pickle oh. in my bite. Okay. Hmm. I would say they're about the same to me, but I do like okay. this. It's not fried, but at least mm, it's, it's mm. your roasted chicken that you have. Yes, get. which I love. I like this one more. I think, I think they did a really good job with it. I gotta just say, I'm super disappointed with the other chicken sandwich. Mm. When you come at me with that title of change mm. your life chicken mm -hmm. sandwich, you have to be able to beat KFC. Yeah. You know what I mean? I set the bar low. The fiery sauce, it's getting me a little bit. <laughs> I, it's I, too much. No, it's not too much, but I'm feeling it in my mouth right okay, now. Okay, you're feeling it but in your mouth. I'm a wuss when it comes to, um, which I know, we, shocker, we shocker. We surprised but, by that. But I can, that's got a little bit of, when you have it the fiery sauce. It is spicy, no, it is spicy. Okay. I don't, I didn't say it wasn't spicy. I mean, it's a little it, kick. Yeah, there's got a little bit of a kick in it. Sure, but that's not so I'm bad. Getting a, little, getting a little wild. Put that on your cottage the cheese, man. The weekend is you just are... starting. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows what's gonna happen well, later? I just meant food wise. We know what you meant. I know, but I thought <laughs> just stop. You're so far behind. I know. I need to just stop talking. Okay, next sandwich up. This is the sliced brisket sandwich. Okay. Again, dry, no tomato, just pickle and onion. I can't control your amount of pickle that you get, so you know, right. just be on guard. Uh, there's four pickles. Okay, d do you think that's too much? Just looking at the pickles. <sighs> Maybe, but we live in a world where people skimp. To have a menu yeah, where no one is skimping and you're gonna complain. No, it's so, true. It's easier to take it out yeah. than to put it in. And I wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> the pickles. I know. <laughs> I'm a clean comic. Just let well, me say that. You're a dry comic. <laughs> Oh man. Oh geez, look at that. Get out of town. Look at that thing. That is... I mean, it's just stacked. Yeah, that's a four pickle sandwich. That is... Don't ever complain about an extra pickle. I'm gonna take one piece of onion out. You know what? I'm gonna have this... I'm gonna see what you were stepping in with the spicy. Yeah, and I'm gonna go back to the original. Let's see. So I've had their spicy before. Eh, it's not so you're not... spicy. I mean, it's spicy. There's pepper on that back end. Mm. Mm-hmm. I appreciate the adding the pickle and the onion, but it needs something. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I would just have the whole thing sauced and I'd be much happier, but you're in heaven. I like it. I think I like the chicken a little better, but this is better than the change your life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Change your life chicken just made me appreciate other chicken sandwiches, <laughs> honestly. That, that's all it is. But that was a good solid sandwich. Yeah. Uh, it's, you know, it's a brisket sandwich. I like their brisket here. I actually have been impressed so far. It's got a nice smoke ring on it. Pulls, they got up to the 200 temp, like you know brisket needs to. It's a good sandwich. I I would definitely, if I was in the mood for brisket, I definitely would just have brisket, not in the sandwich. 100%. For sure. And I, here's where I will, I will validate you. I do watch my carbs too. I'm not a big sandwich guy, off camera. Like my go-to is wings and a baked potato here, right? I don't reach for fried food. I pick my spots. So I hear you, okay. you're heard, but <laughs> this isn't that big of a deal. But yeah. <laughs> But you will have a baked potato during the week. Yeah, but a baked potato is not carbs. But it has more carbs. I lost a lot of weight switching from bread to potato. Oh, yeah. Like bread's, you know, he, yeah. We don't, what is? Way over the top. Way, bread is yeah. way over the, that's yeah. the way over the top. Yes, Swoosh. that was the way over the top. Careful. As far as carbs. Careful car with that. As far as carbs. Curve it. Come on now. Yeah, way over the there top. There you go. Don't, yes. don't go straight. You ain't got to oh. <laughs> Easy, buddy. Easy, <laughs> easy. All right, now it's time for the two burgers. I don't even know if I want to ask you how you feel about burgers. I don't feel like you're a burger guy. No, look, I used to be a burger guy. In your 40s? <laughs> In my 20s, you know. <laughs> further no in my 20s it, it, back when the burger was invented earlier in my life i love burgers that was my go-to thing yeah what changed just my pants started getting tighter okay and so i thought i need to start trying to take some calories out places and burgers that. was yeah burgers is where you're gonna burgers take them and the cinnabon probably need to the cinnabon <laughs> first so are good. you gonna do cinnabon on your show i don't think they have a diversified menu like what am i gonna get four things and here's a cinnabon it's one big oh cinnabon. you're so excited here's a twinkle in your eye you want me to do I cinnabon can, i no, I do. I can smell it. Can you not just feel the cinnamon? Paul, can I live through you? Will you please do cinnamon on your show? I won't eat them, but I'll just watch it on YouTube while you eat the four <laughs> buns that they have. I, I will gain weight watching it. Oh my. Okay, so there's two burgers. Um, let's start with the classic. Bacon cheeseburger. I added bacon because it's just a cheeseburger. One thing I love, they did something amazing. Chopped up the bacon. And they I put do. it on top. If you, if you see right here, it's not two strips of bacon. They've chopped it up. I do really like the chopped 
bacon yeah. because when you have the two pieces, yeah. yep. you kind of lose one or you eat one on the first bite mm -hmm. because it... So I like that they've got them chopped up. Okay, medium well, maybe slightly overcooked, but not burned. I am going to do a little barbecue sauce. That's a barbecue bacon cheeseburger. It's a barbecue right. joint, right? right it, need, it needs some sauce. It, I can kind of just tell. Okay. Okay. It is dry. Mm -hmm. It's too dry for me. It's too dry for me, and I sauced it up beforehand. And here's the thing. The pulled pork hasn't been dry. Not one bite. That pulled pork has been fire the whole mm -hmm. way. This burger's dry. Mm -hmm. That said, I like the ingredients, and the chopped bacon is a win. When you go, say, hey, just go to medium, and you'll probably be much happier with that mm -hmm. burger. Yeah, I think it's like overcooked just a little. Yeah, but it's a solid mm -hmm. burger. It's not bad. And the bacon is so good. Yeah. The bacon, the chopped bacon. Last sandwich is the caveman burger. I mean, we've already had generous portions of meat. Now they've just gotten rid of, come on, come on. Now Look they've just that. gotten rid of all vegetables. This thing. Uh, it looks incredible. It is incredible. We're going to get this thing out of here so that way this thing can have its day in the sun. Oh my gosh. Pepper jack cheese. It looks incredible. Third pound patty, pulled pork, smoked sausage with fried jalapenos in there too. This thing. Oh my word. Okay. Don't get it twisted, my friend. This is a caveman burger. Look at that sauce. Oh, that's so much, so much meat. That, that almost looks like two, is there two separate patties? Those are sausages. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't notice. <laughs> Okay. The spicy hits you, but this is a spicy sandwich with pepper jack cheese and the jalapenos. So, like a little spicy again. Hmm. Hmm. It sounds better than it is. Mm -hmm. You can have too much of a good thing. There's a lot going on. So much going on. Mm -hmm. I mean, you have the sausage, the pork, the ground beef, and then you get that jalapeno at the end with the pepper jack cheese. You can have too much of a good thing. It has one too many things in there for me. Mm -hmm. No, I would agree. And I could barely get my mouth around that. Yeah. It was just... It was big. I mean, Listen, you're getting value at r and &R. So I have been impressed with everything portion size and preparation wise. Mm -hmm. This one just, it feels like this is something the owner would absolutely love. So he just keeps it on the menu. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's going to take me another half hour to finish chewing that yeah. piece. No, we've got time. I'll wait. There's, it's just, there's so much in there. Yeah, there is. There's a lot in there. It's just a mouth of meat. Mm -hmm. Dry meat. After the sandwiches, we're going to move on to the sides. There are nine sides, all classic barbecue. Where do you want to start? Do you like a cold side or a hot side? I think let's start cold. Cold. Okay. Yeah. The two main cold sides that they have are the coleslaw and the potato salad. They've been in the fridge the whole time, so we should be good to go here. What do you look for in a potato salad, Wes? When I have it... <laughs> <laughs> I just don't like it. You don't like it wet. Like too much mayo. I don't like it when it's just you want it chunky. too liquidy. Yeah. I agree. I'm a chunky potato salad guy. Is this your first time having potato salad? No, I've okay, had it. Good. Okay, at R&R, sure. &R, yes. Well. I have had it before. Okay, good. Just making sure. In the 90s. Mm -hmm. It's not my favorite potato salad. Mm -mm. I actually wish it had, was a little wetter. It's too much potato. You're missing something on your ingredients. The potatoes seem a little undercooked. Hard. Yes. Yeah. yeah. They don't mush. You had to chew them. Yeah, there's a little bit too much of a crunch with yeah. the potatoes. Perfectly agree with you. Absolutely yeah. not a great potato salad. Not worth the calories, right? No, no, no. no. no that's not dessert. <laughs> no, I'd much rather have a Cinnabon or brownie. <laughs> I just picture you being a guy that's like so strict and then you fall off the wagon for a day. You probably just bake a whole brownie pan and it's gone in like an hour. My wife will make like Rice Krispie treats and I will eat half the pan on a you, Sunday. You just seem like that guy like, yeah. I'm not going to eat it. I'm not going to eat it. I'm not going to eat it. And then you just eat it all. Yes. That's a problem. <laughs> I should get you in touch with Pete. <laughs> probably a D minus on the health scale. <laughs> you you act it, you want it, but you just, you fall off that wagon so easy. But I have great control for yeah. a little while. 90% of the time, and then that 10% just coleslaw. Oh, much better. Oh, yeah, that's a good coleslaw. Mm -hmm. That is a great coleslaw. Coleslaw is not my favorite, but it's a great coleslaw. Okay. Put more of that on your tacos. Put more of that on your sandwiches. Oh, wow. Oh, I'm a double bite that. That, because here's the thing. I don't love coleslaw because I'm very picky about it. That's exactly what it needs to be. Vegetables were crisp. Yeah. Perfect amount of mayo, citrus. There's some pepper in there. Oh yeah, coleslaw all day. That is a good coleslaw. Yeah. Good job. That's why we do this program. That needed to happen. Thank you for being here. So you have to, on a pulled pork sandwich, have a coleslaw. A, a pulled pork coleslaw sandwich 
is for me the pinnacle of a barbecue sandwich. But to get the coleslaw right is huge. And they got it right, and that just makes me so mad that they don't put enough of it on the yeah. things that they have it on. So that's your cold ones. Now we're gonna go into probably your favorite dish of all time. You've probably been waiting with bated breath for the creamed corn. I actually like creamed corn. Stop. I don't, of course no, you I do. do. I do, but I don't have it very much, but I do like it, yeah. No one likes creamed corn, Wes. I all, ever since I was in school and they would slop it on your plate. During the depression? <laughs> Is that the only option? Okay. Come on, man. Creamed corn? I had creamed I, corn with my mom when she was a single teacher. And then when she got remarried, we moved up in life. What are you talking about? No one likes creamed I, corn. I love creamed corn. No, you don't. No, how is this even on the menu? Look, you, you just wait until... That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I take everything back. Mm -hmm. It's so good. It's good. It tastes like really... That just took me back to childhood, real quick. It's like great corn, but a little bit dirty. Yeah, mm -hmm. a little bit dirty. <laughs> <laughs> you are on sheet day. You are living in another world right I'm now. I'm getting crazy. Yeah, but oh, it's man. so good. I'm beyond impressed with the creamed yeah. corn. I When I saw that, I laughed. When I was like, who gets creamed corn? No one gets creamed corn. That's what you eat when you don't go to a restaurant because you can't afford it. Uh, they proved me wrong right there. They did it. So good. Now we've already had the loaded mac and cheese. I'm assuming this is okay. essentially the same thing. This is just the mac and cheese as a side. It looks a little creamier, which I like. I am gonna cheat a little bit and I, oh, actually that oh. side looks pretty saucy as it is, but I'm gonna throw, I love mac and cheese with a little barbecue sauce. Okay, love really? It. Love it. I'm gonna have mine unadulterated. It's a solid mac and cheese. Mm -hmm. It's not the best mac and cheese. And honestly, you need the loaded. You need the hush puppy, you need the meat. I could take it or leave it as a side, but the loaded, mm -hmm. the loaded's where it's at. Yeah, no comparison between this and the loaded yeah. beginning. I would have so much cream corn before <laughs> I would even touch this. I would probably go through 10 of those cream corns before I would want that. I, as much crow as I'm eating, I'm not gonna disagree with you. And I'm not a huge coleslaw person. I probably would have the coleslaw before this too. 1000%. Yeah. I never thought I'd ever agree with you on food ever again. Yeah. And here we are. <laughs> <laughs> I think we've waited long enough on the fries. Oh. I think, I will say they're a steak fry. We probably waited too long on them. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. I'm gonna pull out the ranch. I like ranch with my fries. Yeah. What do you do your fries with? Fry sauce. Fry sauce. Fry sauce. Do you need me to get ketchup. your fry sauce? I've got it. No. Are you, don't joke, but are you kidding? Or do you really have, oh my gosh, you really have fry sauce. I love it. All day in the Sheffield home. Sheffield home has fry sauce. Absolutely. I can have some of your I fry deliver. Sauce. Please, sir, hey. be my guest. I have a little bit of fry sauce. I'm gonna join you, honestly. It's the best. I mean, oops, sorry, Solid. did I take too much? Listen, I'll charge you later. <laughs> I'm going straight to the source. Oh crap, maybe, okay. Yeah, you made mistakes. Fry sauce with your fries, go for it. We waited too long. They are a little soggy, but I like the thick cut. I like the peel mm -hmm. on the edge. They're not bad. I have had r, &R fries before, and I have always thought they were pretty good. Yeah, that's a solid fry. I like yeah. a thicker fry. I don't feel like they got a fair shake, so I'm not really gonna judge it too hard. Did, okay, did you get sweet potato fries? I did. Okay. They I'll, should be coming. Then I won't comment on them right now. I wasn't sure. Where are my sweet potato fries? Where are my sweet potato fries? I ordered sweet potato fries. They do have really good sweet potato fries. My daughter loves them, and when I've had them, they've always been really good. I don't think they gave us sweet potato fries. R and R. You, you put the queso on the side of the nachos. I'm so happy. And then they don't give us the barbecue ranch dressing. They don't give us the vinaigrette. They don't give us the Carolina sauce. How am I supposed to judge? How? I need my sauces. Ugh. And my sweet potato fries. Their sweet potato fries are so good. They're really good. Yeah. That's what my wife gets every time and I eat it off of her plate. Okay, two sides they did give us, the mashed potatoes and gravy, and the baked beans. Okay. Where do you want to go first, Wes? How about the mashed potatoes? You got it, okay. boss. They're a little saucy Ooh. for your taste, I know. They've gravied them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you said yeah to that gravy like it was fudge. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm. See, I like my mashed potatoes chunky. I like that. To me, it's probably, it's okay. For some reason, okay. the mashed potato part of it, I'm not loving as much as I thought I would. Let me try to get what, oh. the, what the problem is here. Okay. No, it's still good. That's a solid mashed potato. That's a mashed in-house potato. I respect that. I don't like the puree mashed potato where they like pipe it out into like a perfect mound. I want a chunky mashed potato. I don't know what it is. I like it. It's just okay. not as much as I thought I would like. You're it. missing something. Yeah. I don't think it's missing anything. I like it. I mean, I still would eat it for sure. I'm not okay. saying something. <laughs> okay, baked beans. Okay. Little soupy. Mm. 
That's not bad. Mm -hmm. I like baked beans, so I really like them. I like those. Yeah. A good sweetness, nice consistency, some celery, a little bacon in it. That's a good baked bean. And if I had to pick between mashed potatoes and baked beans, I'd actually take the baked beans. You didn't need to say that. Yeah. I knew immediately that that's what you would take. <laughs> Where about you? I oh, the two. baked beans are better. I'll okay. give you that. The baked beans are better. I like the mashed potatoes, but the baked beans shine through. Coleslaw, baked beans, and creamed corn so far. Son of a gun, those, mm -hmm. those corn... Wow. Yeah, cream corn. You're not. I can't believe I'm saying what I'm saying. <laughs> I went from laughing at them for having creamed corn to being like, man, I can't wait to go back for it. <laughs> I have never had their hush puppies here. I don't think I have Little either. Little fried cornbread dough balls. They look like they're. You have to eat three though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I, I thought he said, okay, one. I'll do one to start. No. Wait, but what do you dip? This I think you do dry. I mean, you could dip you it in these? sauce, but I, yeah. I'm just going to go straight in on a hush puppy. You could put fry sauce on it. That's chewy. It's kind of dry for me. I'm going to have to take a drink. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not pretzel dry, but it's getting close to... <laughs> it's dry. Do people eat those dry? I'm not the guy to ask on hush puppies. I don't know what sauce you... What sauce would you put with cornbread? Say that. Butter, honey butter. Honey butter. I would never put a barbecue sauce with a hush puppy. No, I would take honey butter or something. It's just Correct. It's way too dry. For it's you. way too dry. It definitely... I, I know they just put it as... You can get a roll or a hush puppy. I've always gotten a roll, and I'm going to keep getting a roll. But... Keep those hush puppies for that loaded mac and cheese. Whoever was like, hey, oh. crumble that on there, promote it. Mm -hmm. Genius stuff. Now, this is a premium side, the fried pickles. Oh, okay. Have you ever had a fried pickle? Never had a fried pickle. You've never pickle. had a fried uh, pickle? Not that I remember. I would always do it with ranch. You don't like ranch, do you? No, I like ranch. No, you don't. No, I do don't like ranch. lie to me. I'm going to have some ranch. Can I dip in your ranch? Absolutely. Or am I only supposed to? I just gave you my bottle of fried sauce. <laughs> so I think you can have okay. some ranch. Pretty good. Yeah, I like it. It's good. You forced that out. I like pickles. Oh, you're a pickle guy. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's one of my treats I have during the week. That's not a treat, Wes. No, the normal just Pickles straight. are not a treat. A vinegar dill pickles a treat? Who is this guy? Who, how did you? I'm trying to keep my composure. <laughs> Pickles are good, like five calories for a whole pickle. <laughs> That's not why it's not days. a treat. Well, but you just you, said it. It's five calories for a whole pickle. How is that a treat? But if you think it's a treat, no. Sometimes your mind will trick yourself into believing. Hey, would you like a dinner roll? This has to be good. It, it's got to be fine. It's just a roll. Eh. I mean, it's a good roll. Overbaked. It's too dark for me. Too dry. It's definitely not a treat roll, that's for sure. Mm -mm -mm. It's not like a pickle. Okay, hush puppy or roll? Oh, roll. Yeah. Yeah, the hush puppy is way too dry. Way too dry. He's not wrong. Yeah. All right, unfortunately, r, &R the time has come for us to try your salads. And you didn't give us your house-made vinaigrette, and you didn't give us your house-made barbecue ranch. And that's really what we're trying to taste. Mm -hmm. I think these salads are fire. These look incredible. This is the smoked turkey cob salad. Everything you could possibly want. Even a little bit of corn. Who knew? Oh. And then you can get any of their garden salads with a meat. I did do chopped chicken because I knew Wes liked chicken. And mm -hmm. I was like, if there's going to be a healthy something, let's put chicken because that's what Wes would want. Right. They do have a house-made blue cheese and a house-made ranch. I'm normally a ranch guy, but blue cheese on a cob? <sighs> fire. Because there's usually blue cheese crumbles. Mm -hmm. There should be. There's no blue cheese crumbles. So let's get this. Avoid the tomatoes, of course. I'm not going to avoid the tomatoes. I'm going to see what their blue cheese is about. It's thick. I like that. Mm. The bacon here is fire. And the turkey is fantastic. Mm -hmm. That smoked turkey is so good. Holy cow. I got to I love their smoked turkey. That's my number one go-to, but so often they don't have it. Blew me away. We do have, I do have sliced smoked turkey for you. Mm. I got it on the plate. Love it. I delivered. I got you. That smoked turkey, mm -hmm. fantastic. So good. Wow. That's a wow. Can I keep eating? I just finished this. Go for it's it. It's so good. The I turkey would, is so good. Yeah. That seems like a Wes Austin mm. treat. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I mm -hmm. had my pickle time for some smoked turkey. <laughs> I will say that's the best salad we've reviewed on this show so far. Now we're gonna just do their standard regular salad. I'm gonna go ranch on this. Red onion, crouton, cheese, tomato, lettuce, and cucumber, if you get lucky. That's great chicken. Mm -hmm. These are winners. Mm -hmm. These are both great salads. Those are great salads. If you got a picky wife eater that wants a salad and you want barbecue, Arnor's the place to go. Mm -hmm. She'd love that. 
Man, both of those are good. If I had to pick, I would pick the turkey, but they're both yeah. they're both amazing. Yeah, they've nailed it. Mm-hmm. I never thought I'd actually be this happy about a salad, and it is because of the meat at the end of the day, but the Real Housewives would approve that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 10 out of 10 times. Not even, there would be no argument. <laughs> For the first time ever on Best Thing on the Menu, I present to you the meat board. I love the meat board. We brought it from the background into the foreground. This is nothing but all of the meats at r and Barbecue. We have a full rack of ribs. Hey, famous Dave's, give us a whole rack. Sorry, it had to be said. <laughs> Your wings, roasted chicken, andouille sausage, brisket, your smoked turkey that you can never have. Here, just for you. And your pulled pork. So, I think we have to start with the ribs. Yeah. Now, you're a protein guy, but it doesn't seem like you're a big rib guy. I don't usually have ribs just because I make a mess. I usually get it all over. That time is now. Good. These are spare ribs and not baby back, and I think people know what, how I feel about that. I'm more of a baby back as opposed to a spare, but a good spare can be okay. great. First rib to you, sir. Which okay. would you which um, would you take? You know what? I might just take this one. Okay. I am gonna go over here. Cheers, sir. Oh. Cheers, <laughs> we're Cheers. You, you gotta cheers every guest. Mm. I feel like my bite was better than yours. I have to pull mm. nearly as hard. I mm. did have to pull on mine a little bit. Mm. Mm. I'm gonna grab a little spicy on that. Mm. But that's good though. It's cooked well. Mm-hmm. I will say it, it's a little over seasoned. Mm. They have put so much stuff on these ribs. Now, very good. I don't think that the fat has completely rendered in all parts. I think it needed maybe 45 more minutes, but it's there. They did it good. Mm-hmm. No complaints. I mean, I think it tastes great. Yeah, I love it. Very good. Solid rib. Next up, we got the wings. Are you a drums or a flat guy? I will usually have wings between. Oh, gosh. I don't even know what you just asked me. Will you ask me again? Sure. No, because Are I, you a drums or a flats guy? Oh, drumsticks. Okay. <laughs> I like drumsticks. I, when you said drums, I didn't. <laughs> so he's not weird. a wing guy. We know that. <laughs> That's not on the treats list of Wes I was gonna. I was going to say breast, but then I knew that wasn't. No. Okay, we're going to get their barbecue sauce. This, Their wings come in barbecue and buffalo. I'm going to do barbecue, and I'm going to throw a little ranch, just for the fun of it, on my flat. Can I dip in that big mm-hmm. one? Or mm-hmm. I go? That's a good wing. This is why I get them. Meat pulls right off. That's a solid wing. And this is great. I'm enjoying this. This is sauce good. Sauce in your hand. You're mm-hmm. enjoying that so much. I've got a bunch of sauce in my left hand right now. <laughs> We're testing you tonight, mm. Wes Austin. This is great, though. You're not a wing guy. It's not my favorite. You can disagree with me. But I'm not. No, but I do like it. I definitely okay. would eat it. All right. But I'm not a wing guy. You know what I like to do? Little pro tip. When I do the flats, rip off the skin so you've got all that meat and then dip. Mm. Yeah. Now I'm going to go buffalo blue cheese. You don't have to blue cheese if you don't want to, but I would uh, like you to at least buffalo and see how you feel okay. about that. On a new piece? You know, dealer's choice. Do as you please. Okay. Wait, you want me to go with the... Buffalo. Do okay. it. You're on the show. Man. It's a free meal, but I get to decide. Oh my God. Yeah. Okay. This looks like it's going to be... I'd murder a dozen of those without blinking. <laughs> I wish the blue cheese actually, it's thick, but it's not chunky. Their blue cheese sauce, I wish had a little bit more of a blue cheese chunk to it, but I won't fault them too much. Really well seasoned, nice wing. West does not care for them at all. Okay, this smoked turkey looks amazing. I'm gonna put it in the barbecue sauce. We got a little, a little preview of it from the salad, but this is what you would get on the meat plate. Mm. Oh, mm-hmm. that is a great turkey. I was not ready for that. Yeah, I love it. That is my favorite meat when they have it. And it's low calorie, not that we care, but it's the lowest. A five calorie pickle's your treat, man. How much more low calorie does it get? I'd like to get negative. (laughs) (laughs) Let's bounce to the sausage real quick. Mm, Okay. Man, a lot of fennel. It's a good sausage. It is an andouille sausage. I do think it's house made. It's not bad, but it's not. It's not Louisiana andouille. Yeah, and I've had sausage several times before at r and I've liked it better at r and than this particular. I think it's it's good, it's not great. Yeah. But I've had better at r and before, so I don't know if this is just a bad. A bad batch, a bad fair batch enough. Right. I'm gonna have to dock them points. I asked for sliced brisket, and this is straight chopped brisket. I wanted to see a nice pull, a nice brisket bend, and we're not gonna get that today, unfortunately. And we've already had the chopped brisket. I'm just gonna do it straight. Mm. 
It's good. See, that needs more seasoning. Ribs are too seasoned. Brisket was not seasoned enough. Mm -hmm. It's good. It's good. Do you want another piece of chicken or are you getting full? Mm. We know the chicken. Chicken is fire. Chicken is good. We know the pulled pork. Yeah. I think we've had all of our meats now. We've done it. That just leaves dessert. Uh-oh. Yeah. More mac and cheese. <laughs> all right. More bad news. Listen, r, r I don't know if you know me subconsciously on a level that no other restaurant knows me, but I was absolutely thrilled with your dessert menu because you don't know this, Wes. We didn't even talk about this before. r, &R Barbecue has my favorite dessert and my least favorite dessert as their only two options. Nothing hits my sweet tooth better than a perfectly made peach cobbler with a nice oh. scoop of vanilla ice cream. I, mm -hmm. we are best friends. That for me is an indulgent, not a pickle, peach cobbler. <laughs> and the worst thing I could ever think, nothing could convince me to ever want banana pudding. I, I can't do it, Wes. I can't. Okay, can I just say, yes. I have had a banana pudding. Yes. It actually was really good. Somebody oh, had no, it and they, they made me eat half of it. It was good. You seem like you're easily convinced to do I, things. No, no, it. it was really, it was really good. I can't do creamed banana. It's already soft. I don't know if I'm in the minority here, but I think R&R &R knew that and they're like, we're not giving Paul our banana pudding. <laughs> he paid for it, but we're not gonna give it to him. And so I didn't get the banana pudding, so I can't weigh in on this because I don't like but banana pudding. But it could be another cream corn. Yeah, what if it was? Yes, thank you. Thank See? you, Wes. All these terrible comments and you finally got a good one. I finally you got one. Thank you. It's like the creamed corn. <laughs> yes. Thanks for coming on. No. <laughs> but don't you worry, they, they did get us the peach cobbler and making another beautiful appearance on this show, Kroger Vanilla Bean Ice Cream from my freezer. Kroger. Not sponsored, just great. You're gonna dip a little bit of that. I may have gotten too much. I definitely got too much. Oh, this is gonna be a mess. Okay. Cheers. Mm. I can't judge it too harshly because it's in a to-go container and I'd like to see if there was like a crisped top. You know that like baked, mm -hmm. like almost cake. Mm -hmm. Collery. But the peach is there, the cinnamon's there. It's good. It's good. Oof. I do like to have a little bit of the breading. Yeah, a little more breading. Color. So, and I don't even, does this have any of the breading in it? Is that breading or is that just more peach? Oh, I think it's just more peach. No, it's just more peach. Yeah. I agree. There's not enough breading, but the flavor's there. And see, this is how much mm -hmm. I love peach cobbler. I'm just, I'm going after it. Mm. I'm a sucker for a peach cobbler. And I think coming from a, a barbecue place, mm -hmm. it's, that's a pretty good dessert. That's your barbecue dessert, mm -hmm. not mac and cheese. <laughs> <laughs> the meat board is back. Wes, you made it through the whole menu. How was it? So good. Such a I, treat. Yeah, I Indulgent. Love I really enjoyed it top to bottom. Now it's time for the leftover draft. Now it really kind of gets serious between okay. you and me. You know the rules. We draft our top five favorite things. Once it's taken, you can't have it. It's what you're taking home with you. Guests always get the first overall pick. So the okay. board is yours. You can pair it with a sauce. You don't have to pair it with a sauce. You can go meats, sides, anything and everything is mm, okay. up for grabs. Even those fried pickles. And I just, I just start, I can just pick. I Ideally. Okay. With the first overall pick, you're on the clock, Wes Austin. Um, smoked turkey. Smoked turkey, yes. number one. That is your number one take. Yeah, it was so good. And I'm gonna just venture a guess. Dry? Yeah, I'm yeah. gonna take it dry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, just give me that dry turkey. Okay, that's, that's a good solid pick. I kind of felt like that's where you were gonna go. I, first pick, I can't go away from it. It really is fantastic on every level. I am going to take the nachos. Okay. Those tortillas, Crispy. I feel like they're cooked in house. Those things are fantastic. That queso blanco is perfect. Tomatoes. I would put some pulled pork on that. That's okay. what I always get with it. Number one overall pick is okay. the barbecue nachos. Okay. Now I can go. Yep. That's how I this is a take, back and forth situation. I will take the ribs. You're going ribs, number two. I feel like I'm being greedy, but I'm just, yeah. I feel like you're being stupid. <laughs> taking things that I wouldn't even worry about yet in the <laughs> second round. The ribs are number two. Is yeah. that just because the, the meat board is back? Is it's that... probably because they're sitting right in front of me and they and look they, so good. And they this... are very good, but those are, that's your second pick. Yeah. I'm shocked. I actually was trying to throw you a bone. Oh my, what did I, did I, I, I I'm The number two, it's not even a question. Oh crap, what did I do? I had to go with my true favorite oh, with the nachos, you... but the number two thing is the first thing we oh, ate. Geez. And that is the loaded 
mac and cheese with chopped brisket. That yeah. was honestly just as good as the nachos. I can't wait to get them again. I was like, you know what? He threw the turkey out in the first round. I'm gonna throw him a bone. I'm not gonna take his mac and cheese. He'll take it in the second round. And you went for the ribs? You can't let mac and cheese slide out of the second round. That loaded mac and cheese was so good. Well, now I feel like I don't even know how to play the game because I'm clearly <laughs> doing it wrong. Even watching the episode before he came over, like studying third round. Okay, third Get round. Get it together, kid. I need to pull it out. Mm -hmm. Pull it out. I will take the boneless chicken. Was that another bad choice? What a shocker that you would take the boneless chicken. <laughs> I am. It's the I feel like I'm doing this wrong. I just. <laughs> <laughs> It's good. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. It's good. If, if you just hadn't taken two dry meats in the first two rounds, it's like, it's like you're drafting just all offensive linemen. You're not worried about anything else. You're going to come to me if you need the meats. Um, that's a good pick. <laughs> that's a good pick. Good for you. You got what you wanted and that's what matters. My third overall pick, also an easy one. I gotta say the loaded baked potato. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's very good. The loaded baked potato, you can't go wrong. I am partial to it, but I got it in the third round. I would do pork or brisket on that and you're going away happy. Yeah, I feel like I'm playing this wrong. You are, you definitely okay. are. Okay, I need, okay, let me not. You got two rounds left. Okay. Uh, I will do the chicken sandwich that we like. The chopped chicken sandwich? Yeah. Nice. Yes. So you, in the third round, just took the chicken. And then in the fourth round, you took that same chicken in sandwich form. In sandwich form, yeah. You didn't think maybe you could have... Wow. We, we don't have bread in my house. <laughs> it's all yours, sir. <laughs> Have you ever it's, seen a draft before? Like, not Theoretically, <laughs> I thought that I understood how it would work. <laughs> but I get a lot of nerves when I'm in the hot seat, you know? Yeah, you sure do. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best thing I can say about R&R. &R. In my mind, there's four things that I want to take still. And I only have two spots left. The top three couldn't be touched. They were absolutely great. Now it's getting tough for me. Shoot, I don't know what to do. The fourth round, I can't deny it. It's the wings. Best wings we've had on the season so far. It's an underrated wing. Very, very good. Buffalo or barbecue sauce. But I gotta go with true meat. I do need a true meat. You are you are winning in the meat category. I do. So I do need to pick up a meat. I will tell you this, I wanted the ribs in the fourth. So you did, okay. whether you reached or their value, that's up to you. Okay. But the ribs belong to be drafted. You got them before I wanted them. I slayed them as a fourth rounder. And you were like, no, this is my star. <laughs> so that's fine. The ribs are very good. I would have taken them, but you, you got them a little early. I'm gonna go wings in the fourth round. Okay. Nice. I'm probably gonna say that caveman burger. The, the I just, caveman burger? I just think that I could add some stuff to it and it would be enjoyable. Tomorrow. I didn't think you liked it. I didn't like it a lot, but I don't have burgers a lot. And so I just feel like that's why I could. I did not see that coming at all. <laughs> I'm I'm terrible at this game, you Paul. Are very bad. I thought Pete was bad and you make him look like an all-star. That really hurts because <laughs> I know Pete. <laughs> well, I do too. <laughs> Fifth round. Okay, I gotta, I gotta do this too. My last pick, it's going to be the pineapple pulled pork sandwich. Okay. And the reason that I'm taking is because it comes with the coleslaw. When I order it, I'm gonna say extra coleslaw because I actually almost just took the coleslaw in the fifth round, but this is when you learn drafting. What can I get in addition to that? I'm getting a whole sandwich. It was the best sandwich. The pineapple pulled pork sandwich mm. is my fifth pick. Okay. You've I'm terrible, it. but I have a bunch of food. I'm excited about having all this food. Yeah. Look at it. <laughs> All these treats, these pickles. Look at it. <laughs> Five calories. He knows the calories of a pickle. I know. Who it's are weird. you? It's weird. I know. Before we go, Wes, what is your perfect order at r, &R? Let the viewers know. Okay. If you go to r, &R you have this, you're going to have a good time. Okay. My perfect order would be two meat plate with the smoked turkey and the boneless chicken. Then you get a side salad. No hush puppies, no dinner roll. Balsamic vinaigrette on the salad. And I do say no cheese and no croutons on the side salad. Of course you do. That is the perfect order for me. No one will ever order that, <laughs> ever. You should, it's so good. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, you're done with your geriatric order. That's not the perfect order. I respect, as a person, your order. But this is the perfect order. If you want to go to R&R &R Barbecue, this is the perfect order. What you're going to do, start off with the pulled pork nachos. Go extra meat if you want. If you're feeling crazy, I have to take one thing off. Hold on. Now I'm delaying my own show. Shit. The perfect order has to include the nachos. You're taking your girl. It's date night. You're going to be sharing. This is what you're gonna get for both of you. You'll be happy, I promise.
pulled pork nachos, loaded chopped brisket mac and cheese, and the pineapple pulled pork sandwich to split. You're not gonna be too full, you get those three things, you split them between the two of you, you have the best time of your life. That is the perfect order. But that's it for me. Wes, do you wanna let the people know anything? You should get Paul's order, don't get mine. Mine's, <laughs> mine's boring. <laughs> but it's cute, it's fun, it's a cute I know. order. Anything can, coming up, anything you wanna tell the people? You can actually check me out on YouTube. Uh, nice. My channel, Wes Austin, Wes Austin Comedy, just search on that. And on Instagram, Wesley Austin 2 Oh, the I first couldn't one get, was taken. I, I couldn't get my own. Yeah, so. Anyway. No, you got some really funny stuff on there, man. Check oh, thank it out. You. I love thank what you, you do. Thanks for coming on. Thanks for having me on. I really appreciate it. It was I a really it. good time. Thanks so much for watching. Put in the comments what your perfect order is, where we should go next. And thank you so much for watching. Best thing on the menu. All right. I felt stupid when I said it tasted like dessert. I didn't mean it was sweet. I just meant it was it's so too late. You said it. You unfortunately gonna, said it, and it's on. The comments are just going to be, "Who's the jackass?" I would never say that, <laughs> but they would. Hey, I had fiery sauce, and I'm surviving. Did you, you see are? that? You did it. Look at yeah. You. Don't mess with me. I can have spicy sauce. <laughs> 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 <laughs>